Capricorns. So the Page of Cups surrounds your entire reading. So this is a young energy, okay? There's love here, but it's either unwilling to hand it out or unable to hand it out or too young to hand it out. There's a reason why uh, this energy surrounds your entire reading, but there is love, but as you can see, they're just kind of hanging on to it. So this could be your energy or someone else's around you. Let me keep reading. I have the Page of Swords up in your highest energy. So another page, but uh, it's like you're learning how to um, seek the truth and clarity. You're, you're becoming a little bit distrusting, like um, being aware of the small things that maybe you should have been aware of before. Um, these are the two strongest energies in your entire reading. So it's like you're on guard about having someone in your life who is not handing out their cup of love. And if you have to swing that sword, you will swing that sword, but you're not like wanting to. You're just becoming aware of truth and aware of clarity. And it has to do with this cup of love that is not coming forward. I have the Six of Cups right next to the Page of Swords and right above the Page of Cups. So this could be, you might be having a reunion with someone uh, from your past. Uh, it could be um, anybody. I mean, from being babies to college years that might come back into your life. But this is a soulmate card. It is a sweet soulmate card. Um, so the Six of Cups, um, definitely soulmates. Oh, you're on guard about that. I feel like you think maybe they are acting immature or maybe they're not mature enough to hand out the cup of love or maybe they have returned to your life uh, from an earlier time where they weren't really handing out their cup of love. That, But you had a sweet love. You had a sweet uh, relationship. I have the Three of Swords next to the Six of Cups, so that tells me you've been hurt, you've, been, you've cried, you, your heart's been pierced, and it's with truth and clarity with those swords. So either they said something or just the idea maybe they had to move away. Um, something broke your heart over this relationship before. You're on guard about it. And um, I, I feel like they're coming back in. Yeah, I feel like time has really gone by. Like this is, was a long time ago that we're talking about. And so this is what the cards want to speak of. I have the world under the page of swords. You've entered a whole new life cycle. So from that time, yeah, of course. This is a different time. That's what I feel like. And But this page of cups, you still, I think, have love for them. I, I don't think this was... I think that it was just a young relationship, and somehow you were parted from this relationship. I have the King of Swords right next to the Page of Cups and under the Three of Swords. You've become, you've grown up, okay? You're much more mature now. Um, you're um, really seeking truth and clarity. You know what it's like to have your heart broken. And it started young for you. So um, with the King of Swords, very mature, male or female, they're all male or female, but you have really grown from the Page of Swords to the King of Swords. Time has gone by. I think they're coming back in for some reason. Something's happening here. I have the Four of Swords under the World card. You had to do a lot of thinking, a lot of truth, a lot of clarity, a lot of soul searching, uh, a lot of meditation or prayer. Uh, in order to enter this new life cycle, in order to get past this older relationship that was very sweet. It, and it's because you had to. You had to move forward. I have the Two of Wands right next to the Four of Swords and under the Page of Cups. So there you are. You're holding on to that staff of fresh starts and new beginnings. And the world is right here. So you're right next. Well, the world card is right there. You're looking out over the world. And it's maybe they're going to travel to come to see you, or you're going to travel to go to see them. That could be. But this is later. This, this is not all happening at the same time. The first part of this reading is years ago. 
<clears throat> excuse me, I have the Nine of Pentacles right next to the Two of Wands. So there you are dreaming, thinking about traveling. You are traveling. I really think you or them, one of you two is traveling to see the other one. But you're on guard. <laughs> You've grown up a lot. And I have the Nine of Pentacles right next to the Two of Wands and under the King of Swords. You're wondering if they are stable, if they're secure, if they're grounded, if they're committable and available now. Okay? And you really have that sword out and you're going to be seeking that truth and that clarity about them. I think you are grounded. I think you have recovered uh, from this heartache that they left you with, but haven't forgotten. You know what I mean? So, wow, let's see what else comes out. Yeah, there was a parting, okay? I think they had to leave you. I don't know which way that went for sure. Somebody had to leave the other person behind. Okay. Let's see what we have here. For Capricorns. I have an extra card, so I will read it. Okay. So I have the Eight of Cups. Um, yeah, there was a... Somebody left the relationship, just like I was feeling. Um, but, you know, had to turn your back on love. I think you really had deep feelings for this person. I really think it was love. Even if it was puppy love, it was real. And um, you're moving towards the moon. So like um, a, a whole new life cycle, being enlightened. Um, that's going to be on your mind, the pain. You still remember it. I have the Queen of Swords next to the Eight of Cups. Now I have the King and Queen of Swords. So I have the Page. I have the King. I have the Queen of Swords. And I also see the Knight of Swords over here. But um, all these court cards and in Swords is all about truth and clarity. So, I feel like they're coming back in. And I do, I really feel like your sword is out. You're seeking truth and clarity. This is very strong Libra. So, it's Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Uh, that could be strong in someone's chart here. But um, speaking out, you're, you're strong now. You're going to speak out about things. And you have questions you, that you need answered. It's right next to the Empress. This is who you are, the Empress, male or female. You're very kind and loving and thoughtful and respectful and giving and forgiving. And you just have all these beautiful qualities about you. Okay. Um, so in order to move forward, and this is what you need to know. Do they have some of those same qualities? Because they have to in order for you to move forward with them. I do think they... They're coming in with an apology of sorts, or they're just coming in to make, a, make an offer of getting to know you again, once again. You've spent a lot of time in hermit mode here. I have uh, under the Eight of Cups. So once the separation took place, you were, your heart was broken. Um, you spent a lot of time just kind of by yourself trying to figure out how to move forward from all this. So it was very painful. And it was very difficult to get over. And that's why the swords are out all over this reading. And these are all the major swords. Uh, you know, we got the Knight of Swords right next to the Hermit. King of Swords is on the other side. The Knight of Swords is right under the Queen of Swords. So you are going to take action. And your path forward in this situation is taking the action, is getting the answers that you need about this prior relationship, because I think this is someone from your past coming back. I have the Queen of Wands next to the Knight of Swords and under the Empress. Queen of Wands, this is Fire, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius that might be strong in somebody's chart around this reading. But this is the most passionate card in the deck. So uh, I think you're a very passionate person. Where you put your love, you put your passion. So when you're in, you're in all the way. And this is one of the reasons you need to be careful moving forward. One of the reasons you have your sword out. Uh, it's all I just thought of that one show, Knives Out. Okay, this is Swords Out. And um, it, it, you need the truth and clarity. Um, you don't want your passion to get you into trouble. Because I still think you have passion for this person. Um, wherever you, whether you love gardens or animals or um, your work or people, I mean, you, you just 
or are in. When you're in, you're in all the way. So you're trying to be careful in making sure they have a lot of the qualities that you seek in a partner. I have the Nine of Cups under the Hermit next to the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, you spent a lot of time alone knowing that you have all these cups of love, okay? Uh, being under the Hermit and seeking your path forward, really not moving. You know, you may have had a little crush here or there or something, but um, I don't think you anybody's ever really compared to whoever this is that's coming back in. So you've never fully given up your cups of love. And it's next to the Nine of Pentacles. So you have become grounded. You have become stable. Uh, you still have all your cups of love. You've just been kind of, um, you might even be a career-minded type person. I have the King of Pentacles on the other side of the Nine of Cups and under the Knight of Swords. Now this is Earth, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. You are Capricorn, okay? But um, this, not, this King of Pentacles is holding a commitment, a, uh, a huge pentacle of security and stability and groundedness, availability. Um, you need to know that they have a pentacle. You have been building your pentacles. You've got yourself together and it wasn't easy. Um, and you need to know that they've got themselves together. I have the High Priestess next to the King of Pentacles and under the Queen of Wands. So the High Priestess says, follow your intuition. Your intuitions run very strong. So pay attention to what your gut is telling you. Because um, what you feel is probably the truth. So if you feel like that this is just a bunch of, you know, malarkey coming in, then that's probably what it is. But if you feel like they're, 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 consi they're uh, very um, uh, truthful and sincere and, and you have all these thoughts about the goodness of this person coming back in, that's probably true. So do pay attention to your intuitions uh, before you get passionate with this person because when you're in, you're in, you know, and you don't want to get hurt again. And you're definitely, it swords out on this relation, on this person coming back into your life. And then the magician was the extra card that came out. And the magician, look at the, the infinity symbol, intuition and knowing again, okay? So really, really pay attention to what you're telling yourself. You have all the tools to make a relationship work, and you need to know that they do. So that is really important uh, before you move forward with them for you. And your intuition is going to really be uh, helpful for you here in this relationship and moving forward with them. So the reading itself is all about you being very cautious about someone from your past is coming in and um, asking the questions that you need to ask, staying true to yourself. Um, I need to see what your guardian angels and spirit guides have to say here because um, that's going to help me kind of decide because I can't really see what direction you end up taking. This whole reading is about how you are going to decide on whether or not to move forward with them. Okay? There's a lot of fond memories here. You, you still have love for this person if this is your reading. Grab my glasses. So let's take a look at that angel card. Here. It is the seven of action. So I'm going to read it to you. Look, there's a, there's a youngster in the card. You're being called upon to claim your personal power. Feel confident as your angels will give you the strength to say no when it's the right thing to do for yourself. Your struggle may actually stem from an unresolved inner conflict rather than a conflict with others. Wow. So, you know, you've, I don't think you've ever recovered from this relationship. Seriously. And I think it's been a long time. And so the, the, the conflict is within you on trusting. It's a, it's a trust issue, you know, about being hurt. And you have got to find out when they return, because you still have love for this person, that when they return, uh, that they are, uh, you know, grown up too. That they have also, you've grown into the King of Swords, and you're hoping they're the King of Pentacles, because 
For you to share your pentacles, they better be the king of pentacles. And you're, you're going to try not to let your passions get the best of you by keeping your swords out. 